So for this week's art project, I'm going to go ahead and make an art piece inspired by the painting that we studied. So I have my portrait from the previous weeks. I think this was one of our first weeks together. If you don't have your portrait, you could also use your self-portrait that you drew or your drawing of the human body. Just choose some piece of art or you can even create a new one. Once I've drawn it, I want to make sure I have a nice expression. This expression's pretty serious. Oh, I'm missing some eyebrows. So I have a serious expression. I want to make sure that if I show the body that there's an expressive pose, that I'm posed in a way that shows emotion. But now it's time for me to start filling in the background. Ahora es tiempo para llenar el fondo. So I'm going to fill in this negative space with different lines and patterns. Voy a agregar líneas y patrones al espacio negativo o el fondo. And the first thing I need to do is divide the background into sections. La primera cosa que necesitas hacer es dividir el fondo, el espacio negativo, en partes. So I'm just going to draw some lines to separate it into sections. So now I'm going to add a different pattern to each section. So for this one, I might add a pattern of spirals. I'm making sure that I am filling in that space with my pattern. I could add a pattern of zigzag lines over here. Maybe even a combination of zigzag lines and straight lines. So my pattern goes zigzag, zigzag, straight, straight, zigzag, zigzag. Then there's a straight one up there. Maybe I want to just make a pattern of polka dots. Oh, maybe with smaller polka dots inside those polka dots, because why not? Hmm. Think about whatever lines and patterns you can create, and I want you to put a different line pattern in each section. Each section should have a different line pattern. We are filling in that negative space. Our goal today is basically to turn one of our drawings, our sketches from earlier, into a finished artwork. There's so many different patterns you can create. Just go for it. Make sure you fill in all your spaces. If you want, you can add color. You can add some outlines. It's all up to you. I'm just using a pencil right now because that's what I have. 